Now, let us understand the environment and sustainable development as such in the country. Okay. Now, first let us understand environment. See, the function of environment as such is to supply resources. How do I get my food? It is from the resources that is soil. When I use land to grow my crops, only then I get the food. Similarly, from water also we get so many, uh, apart from drinking water or water for use, there are many other things which are being provided as a resource. So, we require resources. Now, I am just not talking about land, water, air, but then we also have petrol, coal and all these things which come from the mother nature that is being provided by the environment. Now, it assimilates waste. Whatever is the waste, it goes into all these you know, things that is your land waste you have, you have your water waste. So, it assimilates waste as such. It sustains life. Now, because of these resources, we have different kind of lives which are there in this. Apart from humans, we have so many creatures who live on earth, earth and there it is important that we have those lives on earth. Like you would have heard about this thing that honey bees, now they are the most important thing in case if they all get extinct, the humans won't be able to survive for more than 7 days. The reason being because they help in pollination. So, Similarly, all these creatures play an important role and it is the environment which is providing us. Now, it enhances the quality of life because of the resources it is providing to us. Now, let us understand the crisis as such we have in terms of environmental. Now, most of the resources have towards becoming extinct. They are going to become extinct or they are towards becoming an extinct. And the wastes which that is the wastages which are generated are beyond the absorptive capacity okay so what is happening out here is that we have utilized the resources so much that now we are on the brink of gear, extin uh, extinguishing those resources that is those resources becoming extinct and then the wastages which are being generated now in the earlier slide I told you it assimilate waste what is happening there whatever waste earlier we used to produce as humans that mother nature used to recycle for it but then we produce certain things for example plastics and everything and also the other waste which we are producing now that waste is not being absorbed properly by the environment because it, the amount of that waste has increased so see absorb it uh, just to give you the absorptive capacity is nothing but the ability of the environment to absorb degradation so that has now reduced to a large extent now again the resources I already said have been exhausted. We are suffering most, no, most important problem which is pollution, air pollution, water pollution, noise pollution. We have so many different kinds of pollution which are affecting our life and it is not affecting our, our life only. It is affecting the marine life as such. It is affecting the life of the animals and the birds which are there. Now the opportunity cost of negative environment impacts are very high. Now, I have been telling you water is very scarce. I told you that 1% of the water is the drinkable water. Now, if you are wasting that water and you are exhausting, you are not keeping proper storage of the water or you are not doing rainwater harvesting, then what is happening is you are creating more pollution. Apart from that, you are waste, uh, exhausting the resources, then there would be a negative environmental impact and then the opportunity cost would be very high. Example, if the water which is available for drinking is exhausted. If there is no water left and you have forced to depend on sea, then the desalinization process is very costly and it is not that easy to do it. So again, you are increasing your cost. Similarly, if your resources get exhausted, then you would have to search for alternative ways which would be very costly. Again, the pollution which you are creating in the environment that is impacting the health of the people. So, it would create lot of problems even there. So, that is the reason it is said that opportunity cost of negative environmental impact is very high. Now, let us understand further you need to for a sustainable development that is a development which can be sustained over a period of time which is there for a number of years 
then you need to use your resources in a rational manner avoid wastages use the resources as in a proper judicial planned manner as such you need to sust, uh, have a sustained rise in the real per capita income so you have to keep on ensuring as a country that your per capita income is rising now if you are not reducing your dependency on resources or if you are wasting it then future generation would not be able to meet their demands see as of today if i see the country as such has a huge amount of population we have more than a billion now we have so many people who require air who require water and i'm just talking about the basic things and food if you keep on wasting the land for example if you dump too much of waste on the solid land then the land gets useless it is not used or cannot be used for agriculture similarly air pollution the more the air pollution you would have seen nowadays most of the children are allergic to dust we keep on sneezing when the moment we are out there are so many diseases which keep on happening the immune system is al already reduced compared to the people the older people in your house you would have seen your grandfather or you would have seen your mother and father comparatively they are more better in terms of health now why the health is deteriorating because of the pollution effects do we have better access to drinking water yes but then how far that water can be used because we are not doing any water harvesting we are not using solar uh, sun energy which can be which is available for free so all these things are impacting and hence the chances are that the future generation will not be able to meet their needs is quite a possibility pollution control we need to control the pollution otherwise the environment will degrade further and the place that is the country as such would not remain a place where people can live now what are the strategies for sustainable development you should use non conventional source of energy which i explained you earlier like your solar energy tidal energy or wind energy now use of lpg should be preferred gobar gas should be preferred now in terms of cng it is more preferred compared to use of any other form of pet petrol then wind solar power as i already said biocomposting instead of depending more on fertilizers use of biocomposting wherein the waste which is being thrown out from every household that can be utilized in a better and a proper manner you should also be using mini hydel plants which helps you in sustaining the environment then comes your bio pest what is bio pest wherein you are using the instead of pesticides you are using bio pest like the natural pesticides which can help in fighting the uh, attacks which happen on crop that is uh, the problems which we face when you are growing the crop this we generally use pesticides for that instead of that use of bio pesticides is recommended now next comes your global environmental issues global warming is the most important factor or problem faced by the world today we all know every year you would have seen your city getting more warmer and warmer the place you are living is becoming more warm and that is creating tons of problem in the uh, globally as such and if you see in terms of countries committing to better environment the commitment is very less we are still struggling on those parts there is a ozone depletion you would have seen that for protecting ourselves from the sun it is necessary we have that ozone layer and that layer is now depleting ozone layer is coming down the layers we have seen lot many parts which has seen that depletion and hence what will happen there is a study which was being made and it was published in the uh, it had come on discovery channel that after few years man as such would be like uh, right now we are on a fairer side or if i have to see the skin would be totally damaged by sun because of this depletion and the impact of sun and because of this warming which is happening the global warming in fact we humans would now have in coming years red eyes because of the damage which has been caused by sun so we would be growing to a climate which would be so hot that naturally the bodies will get adjusted there but then the impact would be everyone would be having those red eyes you can search 
that or more to get more information but this was a kind of uh, research which was being done and it was being told that because of the rate at which the global warming is happening and the temperatures are rising pretty soon humans are going to suffer and this is the impact which we are going to have on our bodies now let's see what is india's environment see we have a very beautiful environment when it comes to the soil pattern we have a very beautiful soil pattern we have different regions having different kind of soils you would if you would have travelled in india you would have seen this deccan plateau having the black soil which is considered very good in terms of agriculture then you have the gangetic plains now these are also very fertile plains as such we have the green cover which helps in protecting ourselves from the en environmental damages now in terms of large deposits we have huge resources in terms of iron ore coal and natural gases in the country we also have bauxite copper chromate gold a uh, gold lead zinc and uranium so gold lead zinc and uranium are also there in terms of resources which we have as an environment however the threats we are facing is land degradation too much of wastage which we are generating as each of the uh, household that is causing too much of uh, degradation and the land fertility is decreasing there has been loss of biodiversity so the loss has been approximately 2.5% that is 17% of the population being affected we have air pollution every city you go even in tier 1 tier 2 cities you have air pollution then there is a problem of fresh water management no doubt we saw that 94% people have access to safe drinking water but then we do not have much fresh water management we all most of the states are fighting in terms of water everyone has this scarcity of water which has to be looked into it asap now the last one is the solid waste management this waste which is getting dumped on the grounds that has to be managed in a more better manner otherwise it would be like you would be seeing all these dumps being lying around in every part of the city or every part of the village so in terms of threats india has problems in terms of depletion of resources over utilization of resources wastage of resources what is the answer to that we can start by ensuring that we do decomposing at house itself ensure water harvesting use of solar power these would help in saving and facing these threats which we have